Welcome. In this video we're going to use a dynamic align tool to align an RGB image and a luminance image and then we can use the LRGB combination tool to mix them both together. I've already opened an RGB image and a luminance image. Both images have been processed in a similar way and I've nearly finished in the own right. But um, the luminance image has much more depth than my RGB image. So that's the reason I'm going to combine them. Anyway, Process Explorer, Dynamic Alignment. What we need to do is select a source and a target. And I'm going to select Luminance as a source, just click it, and the RGB as a target. We need to select some stars now for the tool to work with. And we do this by going back to the first image, the source, and selecting a star. And you'll see on the other image it's applied a box almost certainly in the incorrect position. You need to drag this with your mouse to the same star as on the source image. It'll snap when you get near enough. As you can see, we have two boxes here just to assist us in doing this. We need to do at least three stars. For it to correctly align, so I'm going to grab hold of it. There we go. I'll pick another one. By the time we get to the third star, you should have a pretty good idea where the images are aligned, but um, it's managed to put it in the right place. I'm going to do a fourth just to make sure, and that's great. Once we're happy, we apply it. What we now have is our aligned images. What we can do is just minimize the dynamic alignment on the other two images. But don't close them because they're still being used. Right, we now need to select the LRGB tool. OK. My image is already combined. So what we need to do is disable these three settings because it's a very clever tool and knows when we have a RGB image already combined. What we need to do is select a luminous image. Now it's only given us the option of the single luminous image because it'll only select grayscale images. So I have the one to select. And I've selected it. Now we leave the channel weights alone because you really only use these when you're combining RGBs, we're not doing that at the moment. And you can select a target image if you so desire, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to drag the new instance to the image we're going to work with and it'll have the same effect. We can click on the chromance noise reduction if our colour image is not really strong enough. And you can do this, it doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to do it in my image. If your images are perfectly balanced, you can leave them at these settings. But if you find one is stronger than the other, i.e. your luminance is stronger than your colour, which it will be in most times, you can boost the mid-tones of the colour by moving it to the left. So I've increased the saturation strength. And I'm going to do this for the luminance just to counterbalance it. Slightly unintuitive, I must admit, you know, the smaller the number, the more the boost you're giving it, but that's how it works. Once we're happy with the set settings, and again, you will have to use that good old word experimentation, and I've had a go before, but what I'm going to do is apply it now. Now we have our combined image and you can undo it and redo it to see the effect and I can assure you this is a much smoother image now much deeper from the luminance but while maintaining the the colour from the RGB another successful operation from Pixinsight here in today's lesson and I'll see you again soon